and good welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back if you are a returning subscriber i really appreciate your support your love god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will enjoy every content that i upload so dear friends after this video is going to be a story time <laughs> and today's story is a kind of different from the stories that i have been sharing with you guys because it is all about the challenges that black women go through on online dating apps guys i know being on online dating apps sometimes can feel like you are fighting a battle and there is power in knowing that you are not alone in the battle you are fighting <laughs> not only that i want you guys through these stories to know that you are not the problem to why you are not finding love and lastly guys that i want you to learn from these challenges that black women go through on online dating apps is to be aware of the things that you can come across while you are on online dating apps don't be like oh my god all dating apps are fake i'm meeting guys who act like this i'm meeting guys who are not serious i want you to be aware it's normal that's how online dating world is so it shouldn't break your heart it shouldn't make you give up so without talking so much guys today's story will be about a lady by the name of noreen who is on online dating apps still now as i am talking and recently she faced a very big challenge and when she shared with me this challenge i was like oh my god if i talk to all ladies on online dating apps i think they are going to learn a lot from your story so guys let me start right now <laughs> telling you the story <laughs> so dear friends i know you'll ask yourself how did bella get to know noreen i came to know noreen through instagram but she found me on youtube and later on followed me on instagram sent me a dm and introduced herself told me that she wanted me to help her about online dating she is searching for love and she is interested in only white men but only american white men so i started advising her guiding her about online dating she told me all her struggles and from there guys we became friends talking almost every day guys and not only about online dating even about you know life in general so that is how i came to know noreen so our story starts when i shared the video i think it was in march i shared a video about the best international dating apps do you remember that guys <laughs> so when i shared that video noreen watched that video and she took some of the dating apps and decided to try them out so one of the dating apps that she picked was christian mingo so noreen went to christian mingo and started you know browsing men's profiles and on march 17th noreen received a message from a guy this guy is a white guy an american guy told her that i've seen your profile you are a very attractive lady i would really want to know you more noreen was so happy started chatting with this guy asked him some questions and the guy was answering very very well the guy also said that he is god fearing <laughs> that is why guys i've been telling you even if a guy tells you that i am god fearing don't start trusting that guy immediately or trust everything that he says just because he has told you that he is god fearing or he fears god <laughs> others just tell you to win your trust so this guy told noreen that i am god fearing and this was so good for noreen because one of the things noreen was looking for into a guy 
is a guy who is God fearing. So guys, I remember Noreen sent me a voice note on Instagram and told me that Bella, I think I found the one. <laughs> the dating sites that you shared, I think I found the one <laughs> in one of those because there is this guy I'm chatting to, it has been like four days now, but everything is going very, very well. He is God-fearing. Every question that I ask him, he answers so well. Oh my God, the guy talks very, very good. All boxes tick, tick, tick. I really thank God. I was like, girl, I'm happy for you, but keep on talking to him. Keep observing him, how he is going to be acting towards you you will know time will tell that is what i told noreen because i know guys you can meet a guy on online dating apps you start chatting he talks so good but in the end you come to find out that the guy was just telling you good words it was only words you know you shouldn't trust the guy's words trust the action so that is why i told noreen you will know just trust time time will tell but i'm happy for you girl <laughs> so guys they kept on knowing each other talking every day noreen tells me that they used to talk five hours a day she could go to work when she returns they start talking and talking and the guy could promise a lot of things one of the things that i remember noreen told me the guy even promised to noreen to marry her June this year. This guy was so good at words. <laughs> you need to be very, very careful. When you're chatting with a guy and every question you ask him, it's tick. Everything you ask him, tick. <laughs> Don't just relax and believe in the guy completely 100%. No guys, stay on that alert mode. <laughs> yes. So this guy was so good at words, but at first, Noreen did not see any red flag in that. She thought that he is the one. So one day when I was talking to Noreen, she told me that, but there is one problem that is bothering me a little bit about Albert. His name is Albert. Albert does not work currently. <laughs> He's just at home but he told me that after two weeks he'll get another job but for now albert is jobless so to be honest guys i was a bit worried about this relationship because i've been telling you guys dating a guy that does not work it's a huge problem and from this story guys you will learn a lot and you'll get more reasons to why you shouldn't date a guy that is not working. It's not a good idea at all. But because Albert told Noreen after two weeks, I'll get another job, don't worry, it shouldn't be a problem, Noreen did not worry about that. And after a week of chatting on online dating, then Albert told Noreen that I want to come and meet you. They are all in America, guys. <laughs> but living in different states. Noreen was very happy and excited that the guy she has found on online dating apps wants to come and meet her. You know, that's the step forward in a relationship. I've been telling you, if you're chatting with someone, you should be talking even of how you are going to meet. You can't just chat with someone for lots of time without knowing when are you going to meet. So Albert, on that, it was a tick. <laughs> and he started planning for his trip. As he was planning for the trip, he told Noreen that I am coming and you know that I'm not working, so I'm requesting you to help me pay for one day of the hotel and I'll pay one day of the hotel. 50-50 relationship. <laughs> I have not started yet, but they are already in 50-50 relationship. <laughs> when Noreen told me about this, I told Noreen, don't pay. 
Norin don't pay for this guy. A guy should show his efforts. You want to go and visit your girlfriend. You should be prepared. There is no need for you to ask a girl to pay for your hotel where you are going to sleep. I told Norin that's not a good thing. Don't do it. <laughs> Where is the efforts of this guy? We know he's not working, but he should try his best to impress you. <laughs> so guys, after talking to Noreen, Noreen understood me and said that, okay, I'm not going to pay. But guys, as you all know, everyone has got that best friend. So Noreen has got this best friend and this best friend knows everything about Noreen and she even supports her <laughs> In her journey to search for love. So Noreen shared Albert's story with her best friend and the best friend was totally different from what I advised Noreen. The best friend told Noreen, no, you are going to pay, there is no problem. You know Noreen, you should be understanding because this guy has told you that he does not work so it is understandable if he was working then that was going to be a different case so i think you should pay but if you don't want to lose your money you are scared and all that i am going to help you pay for that one day <laughs> so guys in the end they decided to pay for one day of the hotel of albert <laughs> So guys, like I told you, Albert lives very far from Noreen. They are all in America, but for Albert to arrive where Noreen lives, if you drive, it is 12 hours. And Albert was ready to drive 12 hours to meet Noreen. So that one too made Noreen to pay for his hotel one day. If a guy is going to drive 12 hours to come and meet me, that's the efforts too that he has shown. <laughs> I think you understand Noreen's point. <laughs> so the day for Albert to arrive came and Albert arrived. Noreen was very happy to meet Albert. He was a very handsome guy. Even the way he was talking, he was talking very nicely. You know those guys that you talk to and you feel respected. That is how Albert acted towards Noreen. So they spent good times together. Like I told you, Albert was staying only for two days. But they really enjoyed those two days that Albert was there. And you want to know, did they share the goodies? <laughs> no guys, according to Noreen, she did not share the goodies with Albert cause it was their first meeting and she still wanted some more time to get to know Albert before she gives her goodies. <laughs> yeah, so no goodies guys were shared. <laughs> Yeah. So two days went so fast and Albert returned to where he lives. They continued chatting, but he changed a little bit. Noreen used to write to me telling me that Albert does not respond on time like he used to be. So I was like, why? But the excuses that Albert gave is that he is so busy applying for jobs everywhere so that is why he does not respond in time and Noreen is a very understanding lady guys took that he was like yeah maybe because of that you know he's looking for a job the job that means our future because Albert told Noreen that without a job it is going to be hard for me to marry you so i need to spend more time looking for jobs so guys noreen kept on bearing with all the excuses that albert used to give her i cannot call you because i'm looking for a job i cannot chat with you because i'm still applying for the jobs they will be out the whole day i won't talk to you i am really busy searching for a job <laughs> <laughs> and one day Noreen and Albert were talking then Albert brought out this topic talking so bad about Mexicans in America saying that he's so angry he hates Mexicans because they've come to America to take all the jobs from Americans <laughs> yeah so when Noreen told me that I was like mm, that's a bit of a red flag. I think this guy is a racist. If he is 
talking like that about Mexicans. How about black people? I told her, be careful, Noreen, because this guy might be a racist. That is why, guys, I made a video here. I told you when you are dating a guy and then he starts showing some racist behaviors, you better end that relationship because you are not all that special. Even if he's not showing you racist behaviors towards you, but towards other people, one day he will act the same towards you. You are not special girl. So that is what I told Noreen that be careful. This guy hates Mexicans because they've come to America to take the jobs from Americans. How about you? You are a black American. <laughs> So after telling Noreen, be careful, that guy might be a racist, she replied to me, Bella, I think you are right. This thing is disturbing me a little bit. But they kept on chatting. They kept on getting to know each other. And as time went by, the relationship strengthened. <laughs> you know, when you chat with someone every day, every day you get attached to them. Yes, guys, if you have never been on online dating apps, that is the situation. Dating with someone every day gets you attached to them. And another thing I would like you guys to know is that men who know how to talk, like they have very sweet words, they are the worst because they have got two faces. One of it, they can be sweet, they can be kind, they can be you know that husband material that you're wishing for but on the other side they can be really bad they can be narcissist they can be very abusive so you should be very careful when you're chatting with a guy on online dating apps and he has got very very sweet words and sometimes and on the other side you're chatting with him it's like you're chatting with a different person he tells you things that you don't understand things that are very weird be very careful guys so guys like i said when you're chatting with someone you get attached sometimes you fall in love <laughs> yes and some things you just you know you see it's a red flag but you decide to blind yourself and think ah, god will know <laughs> so as they chat every day so as they chat every day albert complains a lot that he misses noreen so much he wishes to hug her you know hold her tight and you know just be with her in a quiet place enjoy that quietness <laughs> feel her smell <laughs> So he was complaining so much, but he told Noreen that the problem, I cannot come. I cannot come. I am busy here looking for jobs and the financial thing cannot allow me to come see you. So, you know, Noreen was attached already to this guy. She decided to be the one to go and meet the guy because the guy was the first one to come. <laughs> so she was like, it's okay if I be the one to go and meet Albert because the first time it's him who came, it is good if I go. So she told Albert that I am planning to come and meet you. Albert was so happy. He told her that, oh my God, I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to hug you. <laughs> and of course, Noreen too was very happy. Then after telling Albert, she went ahead and booked for the ticket even paid for the hotel <laughs> of the days she'll be staying in the state where albert is living then told albert that you know what i've booked for the ticket and then albert was like which date <laughs> nori replied he was like oh no i have got a training there is a place where i have applied for the job and those exact days i'll be having a training <laughs> Noreen was very very upset and she was like why when I called him he did not tell me me that you know what if you're planning to come don't come these days because I'll have the training so she was like I'm so upset I'm so mad at him <laughs> so Noreen told Albert so what can I do should I cancel my trip Albert was like no don't cancel your trip 
just wait i'm going to answer you tomorrow i'll try talking to these people of the training and then let you know then what albert did went i don't know on the internet or where he got the paper he sent norin a paper that got those days that norin was supposed to visit him that he will be in the training but funny enough that paper did not have his names <laughs> so norin was like i don't know i don't know what to believe i told her that's so strange be careful maybe this guy is one of those guys that are married and when you call them they want to be the one to call you and with this too you want to come but he wants maybe to arrange the days that he will set his wife and then be with you so be careful about that so norin waited and the next day albert was like don't worry don't cancel your trip really i want to see you i can't wait i've talked to these people of the training and they have understood me i'll do the training the other time so that is how all it went and norin started preparing herself to go visit albert but another thing that really sounded very strange to me but even to norin she really found it so strange and she even got angry about it but at that time she did not have a choice because she had paid already for the hotel so as they were talking to albert in the conversation albert asked norin that do you have money for the hotel too can you imagine i'm coming to visit you you should invite me you should stay at my house i'll be happy to host you but that did not happen albert wanted to know if norin had money to pay for the hotel and with this one norin made a mistake because she told albert that yes i have paid for the hotel but when she was talking to me i didn't know so i told norin no to know if this guy is serious you tell him that i don't have money for the hotel i want to stay at your place just to test him not that you're going to stay at his house but norin told me i've told him already that i've paid for the hotel but i'll make sure when i arrive there i see where he lives i told her yes girl you should see where he lives i'm not saying that you stay there because maybe you don't trust him enough you just go and see where he lives because you seeing his house, seeing where he lives, will tell you more about his character, more about his life, and if this guy is open to you, he is going to welcome you into his house. So Norin's day to arrive in the state where Albert lives came, and Norin arrived at the airport, Albert was there, but funny enough, <laughs> Albert did not have even a flower, even one flower, guys, <laughs> to welcome Norin. Norin paid for her ticket, Norin paid for the hotel, and this guy comes to the airport without even a flower. Yes, we understand that he does not have a job, but you should try to impress your girl. You are starting a relationship, and already it's like you have spent 10 years in the that relationship no that is not how you start a relationship <laughs> so norin was a bit angry about that i told norin this relationship i don't know girl i don't know but she told me bella i want to go deep into this <laughs> yeah so i respected her guys that is why i kept on supporting her in whatever she was doing just because i respect her i respect her decisions whenever she could want my advice from me i could give my own point of view and then she was the one to decide whether to follow the advice or not <laughs> but also guys we shouldn't judge norin i'm asking you don't judge norin she was able to tell me this story or she decided to tell this story to help other girls out there be very careful of these guys that don't have a job that are jobless be very very careful <laughs> so the airport thing was like that norin wasn't happy they went to the hotel and in the evening they were supposed to go for dinner right so a good guy because a girl had paid everything at least he was supposed to have some money with him to take this girl out for dinner at least a decent dinner i'm not saying that a very expensive dinner because it does not work 
But guys, with Albert, Albert did not have money because he asked Noreen, what do you want to eat? And Noreen told him, then the guy was like, I don't have money to buy that food. It's very expensive. So Albert took Noreen to a very dirty restaurant to eat. And they even got food poison. Can you imagine, guys? Noreen was very, very angry. <laughs> But she had no choice. She's there already. And to make matters worse, this guy came with two bottles of water in his bag so that he shouldn't buy water. <laughs> so when Noreen wanted water, the guy could pull the bottle from the bag and, you know, power... <laughs> power drops of water <laughs> Nori was like it's like the guy was you know powering the water from his throat the way he was pouring water in the glass for Nori <laughs> he was like oh my god this guy can't even buy water <laughs> the mere mineral water <laughs> that is what you go through when you date a guy who is jobless and who does not want to put his efforts in a relationship this all started at the beginning of the relationship when albert asked noreen to pay for the hotel one day hotel so that one was enough was enough guys <laughs> you know when you are searching for love you just keep on trying and being understanding so guys they stayed together and as noreen was there albert asked her would you like me to take you to my brother's house? Then Noreen was like, is he crazy? What kind of a question? Yes, of course. I would like to meet your brother. <laughs> so Albert took Noreen to the car and they drove till a certain street. Then Albert stopped. Then he was like, you see that house? That is where my brother lives. And the other one is also my brother's house. That's it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's it you have seen my brother's house knowing deep inside she was like but this guy was supposed to take me into the house not just show me the outside stop here how can i believe that it is his brother's house and what does this help me nothing so Noreen asked the guy where do you live from here so the guy was like 42 minutes from here and it is very far and as Noreen tells me is that it was a bit late but i'm telling you guys this guy planned it all that i'm going to take Noreen at this street show her some house at this hour and then make it an excuse of not seeing where i live yes guys so from there norin really felt very bad she was like why did i go into this relationship why i'm so stupid <laughs> so norin never got to albert's house who knows albert is married who knows guys and another thing that really sounded very very strange about albert it's a red flag too albert started taking photos of norin without telling her then Noreen was like are you taking a photo of me because she saw something like a flash you know a phone flash <laughs> he was like no 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 then you know like scratching his head no 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 there is something i was checking on the phone <laughs> yes but what is very strange about this why would you take the photos of a lady without asking her why it means something fishy is going on and Noreen tells me maybe this guy is trying to create like a collection of the ladies that he has slept with and to make matters worse guys here comes the story that really shocked me <laughs> about this albert so as they were driving back to the hotel after showing the brother's house from the outside this guy started saying that he really loves silky hair <laughs> you are dating a black woman then you're talking of loving silky hair 
he was like i don't like frizzy hair and on that day noreen had hair extension which was silky hair so she told albert that you know what my hair is not like this this is just extension my hair is frizzy i am black how do you talk of silky hair whereby you're dating a black woman if you don't like frizzy hair then why are you with me so guys you see what i told you about a guy being racist they start slowly by slowly he will start with other people and then slowly by slowly he will arrive to you so this guy is talking about silky hair that is so beautiful it is so soft he loves it so much and this made me really really angry and when Noreen was telling me this I was like oh my god it's so annoying <laughs> you know when you want to meet him and give him some slap 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 <laughs> that is what happened <laughs> that is the feeling I had guys so Noreen stayed with Albert for three days and after three days Noreen was ready to go and something else funny happened service people of the hotel brought the bill in the morning the day that Noreen was going and put it under the door <laughs> yeah. Noreen was still sleeping but Albert was awake he saw that bill looked at it and then returned it there <laughs> So when Noreen woke up, Albert was like, there is a bill there. So Noreen was like, so this guy saw the bill and then returned it there. <laughs> he doesn't want even, you know, to stress himself about the bills and all that. So guys, I think Albert's motive is even more malicious than we can imagine. Because why take photos of a lady without her knowing? For what? For what reasons? and why go into the dating site whereby you don't have a job i've been telling you guys for a serious guy to go on a dating app it means that he's looking for something serious to start family immediately not starting chatting with you for three years telling you that i'm still looking for a job no never take that on a dating app i am asking you dear beautiful ladies because you only waste your time let the guy be ready to start family that is why i've told you see his financial status see if he is independent see all these things that makes a family yes guys don't just be like no i'll bear with him he'll find a job next week you see this guy was like i'll get a job in two weeks but we see two months have passed he is still jobless so never accept such kind of things never go into a relationship with a guy who is not ready to settle down with a guy who doesn't have a job a jobless man never so guys after Noreen returning to where she lives she was like Bella I take this trip in a positive way that I went to see a different city just you know like a tourist and that's it because there is nothing good out of it and I've decided to end the relationship with a guy I have even blocked him and even went to Christian Mingo to report him he is a user he is a scammer of a different form and it is true guys on online dating apps exist men who are scammers in different forms some of them you know i've been talking of you paying for the dating app if you're looking for richer guys or if you're looking for more serious guys maybe you should try to pay but even those sites that you pay exist guys that have been paid by the apps just to keep you on the app so that your money can be cut every month they take your money they take your money and the guy is being paid so on online dating apps exist different forms of scammers that one too you see albert maybe this guy was looking for a lady to take care of him who knows or maybe this guy because he is a racist so he wants to do some kind of revenge you know i'm going to revenge to you because you are black so i'm going to be lying to these black women and then get them to bed sleep with them and then afterwards just you know 
if I succeed to take money from them, I'll take some money from them. So exist different forms of scammers. Girls, be very careful. I love you so much, guys. You know that. And that's why I'm always thinking of you, of the way to help you, of the way to share with you, to know that you are not alone. And, and I'm telling Noreen too, you are not alone, girl. Black women are facing a lot of challenges on online dating apps. But through my platform, I'm trying my best to help you be aware of these things and I'm praying to God that he helps you, you find the right man that you are searching for. So guys, I know you want to know if she gave the goodies for the second time when they met. Yes, she gave the goodies, but this doesn't make Noreen feel good. She feels very, very bad about it. She really regrets about it. But you know guys, shits happen and she has got a lot to learn from her mistake. In Swahili we say kufanya kosa sio kosa, ila kurudia kosa ndio kosa. Meaning that if you do a mistake once, it's not a mistake. But when you repeat it, then it's a mistake. So Noreen learned from this and I want you guys to learn too. Like I've been saying, never give your goodies to a guy whom you see that you are not sure yet if he is the one the guy who is showing you a lot a lot of red flags don't go and give the goodies guys but again i'm asking you please don't judge noreen because <laughs> people are going to be scared to share their stories again she did this to help you <laughs> so guys the big lessons that we are learning from this story never date a guy who is jobless if a guy doesn't want to spend on you, want you to spend too, that's a very big red flag. If a guy loves you, like truly, truly loves you, he will try his best to impress you. He will never make you pay <laughs> for your ticket to go meet him or make you pay for his hotel room or make you pay for dinner. No, guys, don't be deceived. I have been helping lots of ladies who have found love. I know how things go. I am talking because I have experience. Experience is the best teacher. So never be deceived and be like, I'm going to be understanding and then invest my money into this man. No, they don't want to invest in you because they have got nothing serious with you. You should know that. And another thing, be very careful of another red flag. I told you of how the guy talks. You start hearing the guy hates women. I talked to these guys who hates women. You know that this guy is gonna be abusive to you. He's talking so badly about other women. He will come to you one day. Yes. So this guy was talking so bad about Mexicans, but in the end, what do we see? He even hates black hair. <laughs> <laughs> when's a lady with silky hair <laughs> so be very careful of the red flags guys while chatting with these guys on online dating apps and above all don't give up i'm even telling noreen i know you're here watching don't give up through this experience you have learned a lot and this will bring you close to your right man this message too goes to all ladies that are still searching on online dating apps and you're facing a lot of challenges don't worry guys keep on searching but remember don't let the dating app or dating apps take much of your time no guys do it calmly and give all to god guys i've talked enough i know this video is so long but i know you've got a lot to learn from it god bless you if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good you've got a lot to learn from them comment below what you think about this video until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao